Oh, it is important that everyone watching understands that the procedures will be in place for the draw. That yeah. is correct, Debbie. And what better way to do this by watching the following video. The official draw for the 2023 CONCACAF Caribbean Club Shield will be carried out using a single blind system and two pots. The 16 participating clubs have been divided into the two pots as follows. Pot 1, four seeded clubs. Pot 2, 12 remaining clubs. In accordance with the regulations governing the draw, the four pot one seeded clubs will each be placed in a group as follows. Host club, St. Paul's United FC, in group A and in a blue sphere. Three participating first division professional clubs, in groups B, C, and D, in a red sphere. The draw will begin by placing the pot one clubs in their assigned groups. Once confirmed, the draw will continue by drawing the spheres from pot two and placing the clubs in the groups. Once all clubs have been assigned a group, the draw will conclude. CONCACAF, love for our game. All right, any questions, Debbie? No, I understand perfectly, and the table is set. But you know, you and I, we can't draw these spheres alone, right? Of course not. Okay, so to help us with the draw, we have two former players, starting with one of the most successful players to hail from the Dominican Republic. Now, he won the CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship four times, twice with W Connection from Trinidad and Tobago back in 2006 and 2009, and twice with the Puerto Rico Islanders in 2010 and 2011. He finished his career with seven goals in 15 CONCACAF Champions Cup games. Welcome, Jonathan Fanya. Welcome, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, Jonathan, you had the opportunity to win multiple Caribbean club titles. So, what does it take really to win a Caribbean tournament? Ah, es una oportunidad maravillosa de poder ganarla que Dios me brindó. El trabajo en equipo, estar siempre unido, tener disciplina y el talento que podía tener el equipo completo para poder brindarlo dentro de la cancha fue lo que nos permitió haber eh, conseguido la cuatro Champions del, del Caribe. Very well said, Jonathan. Thank you so much for being here with us. Now, our second guest is the former Guyana national team captain who also played for the Puerto Rico Islanders, with whom he won the 2010 CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship. He appeared in two separate editions of the CONCACAF Champions Cups back in 2010 to 2011 and 2012 to 2013, playing eight games total. Please help me welcome Chris Nurse. Hello, Chris. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Good to, Good to see. see you. Chris, you had the opportunity to play in numerous CONCACAF club competitions, including the Champions Cup, formerly known as the Champions League. So can you tell us what your best memory, uh, you know, from those tournaments have been? Yeah, definitely uh, one of the best memories of myself, Fania, played on the same team when we had to play a two-legged tie against LA Galaxy to qualify for the next stage of the CONCACAF Champions League. We won that tie 4-2 and obviously a, a team, Puerto Rico Islanders, competing against LA Galaxy, a team that featured the likes of David Beckham and Landon Donovan at the rest of the time. It was a significant triumph for the team. So to be recognized at that level and to compete and be successful, you know, it's a testament to what Caribbean teams can accomplish. Oh, absolutely. Sounds memorable for sure. Matias, the floor is yours. Thank you, Debbie, Jonathan, Chris. Thank you for being with us today. To quickly recap, we saw in the draw procedures, let's go over the pots. So in pot one, which will contain the names of the four seeded clubs, which are St. Paul's United from St. Kitts and Nevis in a blue sphere. We have OEM, FSC, the La Republica Dominicana. We have Waterhouse FC from Jamaica and Club Sando FC from Trinidad and Tobago. And those are the ones in the red spheres. And in pot two, we have the other 12 participating clubs, which are SV Dakota from Aruba, Scholars International SC from Cayman Islands. We have John Holland from Curaçao, Southeast FC from Dominica, Etoile de Maturie from French Guyana, Solidarité Scolaire from Guadeloupe, Golden Lion from Martinique, Metropolitan from Puerto Rico, B1 FC from St. Lucia, Junior Stars from St. Martin, Robin Hood from Suriname, and Sharks FC from Turk and Caicos. And now that we know which club team is in each pot, 
well, we'll start by drawing the spheres from part one. So, Jonathan, you have all the honors to start the draw, so please, let's take the blue sphere. Okay. Paul United. San Paul United, of course, the host. Very good. We'll be in group A, that's A1. We'll continue now. Let's see who are the other group headers for this Caribbean Club Shield. Waterhouse FC. So Waterhouse FC from Jamaica will be in group B. Perfect. Please continue, Jonathan. There you go. Let's see if it's OEM or Club Sando. Let's see which one will be in Group C. OEM SC. OEM from Dominican Republic in Group C. Thank you, Jonathan. And lastly, let's see Club Sando, which should go to Group D. Sando. Thank you, Jonathan. Sure. So now we conclude the drawings of the teams from part one. Chris, the honors are yours now to see how this plays out. Junior Stars. Junior Stars. Junior Stars will be joining St. Paul's United in Group B. In Group A, sorry. Very good. Let's see who else joins the Group A. It's so hard to get, huh? <laughs> Young Holland. Young Holland. Okay, Young Holland. Okay, from. Curaçao is joining St. Paul's United and Junior Stars in Group B, A. Let's see the last club will be joining Group A. All right. Metropolitan FA. Metropolitan from Puerto Rico. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Let's proceed now with the Group B. Let's see who's going to be joining Waterhouse in Group B. Southeast FC. Southeast FC. All right, Southeast FC from Dominica. Scholars International. Scholars International is now joining Waterhouse and as well Southeast FC from the Cayman Islands Scholars International. Very good, let's see which is the last club from Group B who will join these great three teams. Golden Lion. Golden Lion from Martinique. Very good. All right, Chris, we're almost there, halfway there. Let's continue to see who's going to be joining OEMFSA in Group C. B1FC. B1FC from San Lucia. Okay. Continue. Let's see who's going to join B1FC and OEM FSA in Group C. Etoile de Matoury. Etoile de Matoury. Very good. <clears throat> so Etoile de Matoury will join OEM FSA and B1FC. Let's see who's going to be 
The last one joining Group C. SV Robin Hood. Robin Hood from Suriname. Okay. Very good. All right, we have three left. Let's see those three clubs that will be joining Club Sando in Group D. SV Dakota. SV Dakota from Aruba will be joining Club Sando. Okay. Very good. Two more left. Two more left to go. Sharks FC. Sharks FC from Turks and Caicos. All right. And the last club to be drawn to join Club Sando, SV Dakota, and Sharks FC. Let's see which one will be. Solidarité Escolaire. Solidarité Escolaire. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Wow. Well, there we have it. The four groups have been determined. Matthias, Chris, and Jonathan, let us review the draw results. Sure. So, Debbie, in Group A, we do have St. Paul's United, Junior Stars, John Holland, and Metropolitan. In Group B, we do have Waterhouse, Southeast FC, Scholars International, and Golden Lion from Martinique. In Group C, we do have OEM FSA, B1 FC, Etoile de Maturi, and Robin Hood from Suriname. And in Group D, we do have Club Sando, SV Dakota, Sharks FC, and Solidarité Escolaire. Wow, all right, sounds very interesting. Chris, give me your thoughts. Um, obviously, it's a great draw. Robin Hood are a very well-renowned team throughout the region. They're a very strong team, so they'll be one of the favorites. But I think anything can happen in cup competitions. Everybody's going to be fighting and competing to take away the silverware. Brings a lot of excitement to the region, so we're all looking forward to it. Yeah, it's anyone's game, right? All right, Jonathan, your thoughts? Uh, son cuatro grupos muy competitivos. Uh, van a, a poder mostrar su talento dentro del terreno. Me inclino por el favorito de mi país, OIM. Ojalá y que le vaya, que le vaya bien en la competencia y que pueda brindar una alegría a República Dominicana con la like championship yeah we well, wish all the teams the very best unfortunately gentlemen that's all the time that we have it is the end of this event it has been fun thank you so yeah. much for being here with us this afternoon well whoo oh my gosh let me tell you something for all the fans in the caribbean in the world thank you so much for joining us across the region do not forget right that they can join us later on because we have so much more coming up it's going to be happening at uh, what's that time wow 5 p.m is going to be happening at 5 p.m for the caribbean cup and 7 30 p.m for the inaugural central american cups please join us stay with us thank you very much for watching thank you